You're watching Unrelent Gaming. This is Vegeta, the Prince of all Saiyans. Make sure you subscribe to Unrelent Gaming and push the like button for me. Or else you'll be Hakai! Not Beerus! You know how this works. Make sure you enable all notifications on the channel and watch the entire video all the way through. And don't forget to follow Unrelent Gaming on both Instagram and Twitter. That's enough! On with the video! As the fate of the entire multiverse now hangs in the balance with Murno unleashing his full power onto the surface, Murno is not looking to hold anything back after spending generations and eons rebuilding himself after his original exile, our heroes now seemingly appear as though they're stuck in a very difficult position, with Vegito continuing to formulate the multiversal spirit bomb as everyone else is waiting on the Grand Priest's order, with Murno now at max power and having to look to destroy the Grand Priest once and for all, the million dollar question going forward, is with Murno now at full power and seemingly very bloodlustful in looking to see his mission through, will this ultimately be what Murno had been looking for in finally finishing off everyone for good, or are we bound to see a miracle happen over time that will eventually lead to Murno's ultimate downfall? Now before we dive any further into this video, if you are new to the channel and of course have a love and passion for all things Dragon Ball related, including its manga, anime, video games, fan animations, fan mangas, and more, in which would also like to be kept up to date with everything in regards to the Dragon Ball Super Manga, the Dragon Ball Super Anime, Dragon Ball Video Games, and any and all additional content within the Dragon Ball Universe, then I do encourage you guys to head on over and smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications by clicking on the bell icon to always be notified whenever a brand new video is posted onto the channel, as well as giving this video a big thumbs up by slapping that like button down below if you guys are simply excited to see what the future holds for the Dragon Ball franchise, and with all that being said, I want to thank you all so much for your time, thank you all so much for supporting the channel, and now let's dive straight into the video. As our story continues with full-powered Murno being shown having to hold down the Grand Priest by his face, and now finally having to reveal to everyone, including his own father, of what he could truly do, as Murno went on to then address the Grand Priest by telling him, Oh, look at the mighty father of angels now. Struggle all you want. It won't matter, Murno says. What I'm going to do to you will be far beyond anything your deepest, darkest nightmares could ever conceive. First, I will break you. Every bone in your body will be broken so that way you can suffer a very slow and very painful death and then... Then you will die, Murno says, but then, unbeknownst to Murno, as he was pinning the Grand Priest down from behind him, Mastered Ultra Instinct Jiren had gone to intervene by grabbing Murno by the shoulder and telling him, Not as long as we're here to stop you, you're not. Pride Trooper of the 11th, you again? As with Jiren, we also then see how full-powered Super Saiyan 3 Broly had also gone in doing the same thing, as even Broly went on to grab onto Murno's shoulder by telling him, Let go of him. You annoying little insects just don't know when to give up and die, do you, Murno asks. Mortal warriors, don't, the Grand Priest utters. We still have some unfinished business to attend to, Jiren says. Business, Murno asks. You and I? I have no business with any of you, Murno says. To where in that very moment, as quickly as it happened, Murno had then gone in glaring away both Jiren and Broly by telling them, I got what I needed from you idiots. Now stand aside. I assure you that you will all be dealt with once this is done. To where we then see how both Margarita and Whis were able to save both Jiren and Broly from flying out any further, and from that point on, ordering a structural attack, that's when Whis went on to tell Broly, stay with us, warrior. You will not fall. Margarita, on your signal, Whis shouts. Broly, you are to synchronize your attack with mine and attack together on my go. I hear you, Whis, Margarita says. I got you, Jiren. Quickly, we must attack my brother together. Are you with me? With Jiren responding, Ugh, yes. 
I hear you. Hurry now, Jiren. Whis will fire at the same time. As Jiren responds, I'm ready. Let's blast him. As both Whis and Broly were also shown synchronizing their attack with Whis responding, channel your inner power, Broly, and hold nothing back. We're ready, Margarita. And as soon as all four of them were then shown in position, that's when they all went on to shout, NOW! As from that point on, with all four of them shown having to blast Myrno from behind, with Myrno then shown creating a barrier around him, while at the same time still clutching on to the Grand Priest's face, that's when Myrno went on to respond, Damn these worms! Is this what it's come down to? If you're honestly hoping that they will save you, then I must have hit you a lot harder than I thought, Myrno says. You fools won't save him! I will draw blood and end his life, and there is nothing that any of you can do that will stop me! I am the mightiest life form in all of creation, Myrno shouts! The peak of power and divine dominance! Until he is dead, you will be left to watch! Now stand out of my way to where as soon as Myrno was shown having to blast all four of their attacks away, Myrno from there went on to redirect his focus back at the Grand Priest by responding, Now, where were we, you rats? Ah, that's right. Dying a slow and painful, but then, to the surprise of Myrno, even while pinning the Grand Priest down, the Grand Priest had gone in raising his arm up directly in Myrno's face by telling him, You will not be allowed to disrupt the balance of creation anymore. As you draw your mightiest form, I will remind you of your place against me, child, to where it was within that moment where the Grand Priest was shown having to blast Myrno directly off of him in nearly sending Myrno's body flying out of orbit, as even Beerus went on to acknowledge this by responding, yes! The Minister still has a lot of fight left within him, which means there is still a great chance that this battle will favor us tremendously. To where back with Myrno, as Myrno was then shown having to muster out the sheer willpower and strength that he had within him in preventing his body from flying out any further, Myrno from that point on proceeded to maintain balance by having to stabilize himself in responding, Ugh, a clever tactic, but this won't go the way you think, he says. Have you forgotten already? You should know better than anyone that I am unbeatable when I am at my max. That attack of yours was worthless. I don't even feel it. But then, as Myrno had gone and looking on and noticing how the Grand Priest was right on his tail, before Myrno could even act, that's when the Grand Priest went on to tell him, I indeed remember, but your arrogance will be what destroys you. As the Grand Priest was shown having to attempt to uppercut Myrno in the face, Myrno from that point on was actually fast enough in having to move out of the way by telling him, NEVER! You confuse my confidence for arrogance because you know that I am the only existing entity that can challenge and rival your power! To where shockingly enough, as Myrno was then shown having to punch the Grand Priest directly in the stomach in shattering all of reality around them, in once again going as far as to emphasize the difference between what he was then and what he is now, Myrno then went on to continue, IT WILL BE YOU WHO PAYS! IT WILL BE YOU WHO begs. It will be you who atones for the horrors that you've made me experience. You think I've forgotten about the book of life that you keep inside the Omni Rats palace? Once I'm done slaughtering you all, history will forever be rewritten as I spawn a new existing multiverse through that very same book. Aw oh man, what a fight, Vegito says, but I can't draw any more energy from this universe. I've got to try collecting power from other universes and see how far this can get us. Hey, we Vados, Vegito shouts. I'm a little stuck here. We've maxed out Universe 7's energy, and we need more if we hope to win. Try and see if the two of you can reach out to other universes for help. We can't hold this thing up here forever. As Whis went on to turn towards Vados in responding, we should probably try and alert the other universes now while we can. As Vados responds, agreed. We'll use our staffs to contact the other gods of destruction and angels and inform them about the situation. Whatever power we can collectively gather is better than not gathering any at all, she says. I am also very well aware of what Myrno did with your staff, she adds. Here, use and keep this, she says. Now we must hurry, Whis. There's no telling of what may happen if we don't act now, she says. To where within that moment, as both Whis and Bottles had gone in using their staffs to contact the other gods of destruction and angels, it was from that point on where Whis and Bottles had gone in addressing the multiverse by stating, attention all gods of destruction and angel attendees. Our battle with Myrno has reached a pivotal moment where your aid is needed. Needed. Lend us your energy and transfer any and all collective power from your universes into the Saiyan warrior Vegito from the Seven. The fate of existence itself lies in your hands. The Grand Minister is at war with Myrno right now and time is not to be wasted. As we only then make our way back to the Omni Kings in seeing how they're overlooking a chaotic battle happening above them, with both of the Omni Kings seemingly enthralled by this battle, the Omni Kings then went on to comment, Everything is so bright and sparkly up there, wow! Look at them go! 
says the second Omni King, they're shattering so many realities. I can't tell what's going on anymore, says the first Omni King, but this is so awesome. Everything is shaking. As all a while with Myrno shown having to duck, dodge, and avoid each and every single one of the Grand Prix strikes, in now having to showcase the full extent of what he can do, it was only then where Myrno went on to ask, tell me, is it me or are you no longer in control of our fight anymore, he asks. I thought so. Weren't you the one who showed me a higher level, he asks. Where's yours? Weak, Myrno adds, both in mind and body, as he was then shown grabbing onto one of the Grand Priest punches, and from there with his other hand shown having to spawn an energy blade, he then went on to continue, here's to you, coward. Let my blade be what ends you. And the moment Myrno had gone in attempting to slice the Grand Priest in half, it was only then where the Grand Priest was shown having to grab onto Myrno's energy blade by telling him, your wrath and hatred towards the gods and mortals will not be what overcomes my resolve to preserve and protect. But that's when Myrno had went on to spawn another energy blade with his hand, in thus attempting to slice the Grand Priest by using both arms and telling him, shut your mouth, liar, yes it will. I will make sure that it does. Don't you see it too, Myrno asks? Can't you feel it? Your emotions are what's tearing you apart right now. I can feel you slipping, Myrno adds. Didn't you once say that you also had an ultimate battle form? Well, where is it? Is this it? Is this your full power, Myrno asks? Because if it is, then you're finished. That's right. Just let my blade slowly touch down on your flesh so I can rip you apart. As with the Grand Prix shown trying to do his best in not allowing for these blades to rip him apart, that's when the Grand Priest went on to tell Myrno, Delusion clouds your mind, child. You clearly don't remember. But it's as I said, your arrogance is what will become your ultimate and painful downfall. The more I look into your eyes, the Grand Priest says, the more I'm beginning to see the true nature of your rage. I never wished to eradicate you until the day I saw rage begin to overtake the goodness inside of you. You could never understand my duties to uphold peace and justice without bias, the Grand Priest says, and as such, I will continue to punish you for the sake of the Omni King's entertainment before I destroy you once and for all, and the moment the Grand Priest was shown punching Myrno in the face, in once again shattering all forms of reality around them as Myrno was sent crashing through multiple different dimensions as the Grand Priest went on to tell him, your ultimate form and full power will not bring you victory over me today. Hey Whis, Gohan asks, what happens if this continues? Since they're shattering through reality itself, will this somehow have an effect on our universe if this continues? As long as the Grand Minister is in full control, Whis says, no matter what happens, everything will be restored and corrected in time. As we only then observe how Myrno's body is shown smashing through multiple different dimensions, the Omni Kings then went on to add, wow, this is the greatest battle that I've ever witnessed in my entire life. I know, says the second Omni King. Where are they going now? I can't see. Are they in a different timeline? I hear you, sire, says the Grand Priest. Worry not. I will be right back, so please remain patient. As through the other side, we once again see how Myrno had gone in maintaining balance by stabilizing himself and responding. Who? What was that supposed to be? You've lost it, haven't you? It's pointless, and you know it, because now you're starting to see little by little. You talk about arrogance, but ignorance is not the same as innocence, and you are not innocent for what you've done. You may not be familiar with this one, but let's try that Frieza's death beam on for size, Myrno says. To where as soon as we then see how Myrno had gone in firing multiple death beams directly at the Grand Priest, the Grand Priest was not phased by these attacks at all, as the Grand Priest went on to dodge each and every single one of these death beams by responding, a proficient attack, but without proper usage of it, you will never successfully be able to use it in battle. As all the while behind the Grand Priest, we then see how Myrno's death beams were actually the cause of the hyperbolic time chamber then being shown getting destroyed, which of course they just so happened to have entered such a dimension courtesy of reality being shattered around them, as within that very moment, that's when Myrno went on to address the Grand Priest by telling him, you seem to know a lot about monsters, don't you? Especially how to make them, since you 
you are looking at one, your greatest creation turned against you. You turned against yourself long before you turned your back on those who cared about you, the Grand Priest responds. Enough of this carnage, Murno, as the Grand Priest then took it upon himself in firing a gigantic energy blast at Murno, with Murno then shown having to hold a defensive guard, that's when Murno went on to respond, no, not until you are dead. As it was only right then and there where the Grand Priest attack had then gone on to make contact, in not only going as far as to create a massive explosion in front of him, but at the same time, whatever it was that the Grand Priest had done had gone to also surprise Murno, as through the smoke we then see how something had gone to pique Murno's interest, as Murno went on to respond, wait a minute now, what was that you just merged with your attack, Murno says? That attack was much stronger than any of the attacks you've used before. Why, Murno asks. What did you do? You did something, didn't you? You were hiding something from me, aren't you, coward? Tell me. I never wanted for any of this to happen, Murno, the Grand Priest responds. I never intended for there to be a war held between angels, mortals, and gods. I tried warning you, he says. I tried giving you several chances to stop this. But you are continuing to push and push and push, and once I am back into a corner, the Grand Priest says, I will have no other way than to go right through you. As Myrno then went on to respond, you think I'm a joke? Is that what you believe? You don't think I possess the power to destroy you, is that it? Listen to me and listen to me well, he adds. The only reason why I haven't killed you yet is because my intention is to make you suffer a very slow and very painful death. What's the point of rebuilding myself into what I am now if I can't torment you for the horrors you've caused me since throwing me out, he asks. You, on the other hand, you seem to be pulling your punches for the sake of providing those little degenerates with the entertainment that they so desperately crave. I will not be used as a guinea pig for your master's entertainment. That energy, Vegito says, is that it? It is. I can feel it. It worked. I can feel power flowing in from all across the multiverse. To where as we only then see how Vegito's spirit bomb is now beginning to get bigger and bigger and bigger, Vegito then went on to continue. Yes. Yes. This is incredible. Wow. I can feel the energy of so many life forms from all across the multiverse, including its gods of destruction and their angels from each universe as well. The power of this spirit bomb is almost overwhelming. It's huge and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. That's it, everyone, Vegito shouts. Keep it coming. Give us everything you have to win this. Whis, look at that, Vado says. This is what it truly means to stand as one, Whis responds. To fight for a cause that's greater than any one individual. The will to fight for the right to exist. To where, as we only then make our way back to Myrno and the Grand Priest, Myrno went on to stick his finger out by pointing at the Grand Priest and telling him, you will no longer be pulling your punches against me. Do you understand? If I'm going to claim your head, then I want it to be while you are at your absolute best. I don't care about entertaining those little runts. Once you're dead, they'll be next to die anyway. I want to claim the head of the mightiest angel and warrior in existence while at their peak of power, Murno adds. It'll be all the bragging rights I need to show you all why I am beyond your very best. As the Grand Priest went on to respond, as powerful as you may be, even as the second strongest life form in existence right now, you are not ready to face me at my absolute best. And this went on to completely shock Myrno as Myrno went on to ask, what did you just say to me? There is no way you are telling the truth and I'm about to prove it to you, Myrno says. I'm calling your bluff, so by the time we return to the present, I will return with your head as my trophy. I've seen your best, and this is what I remembered you being. And as such, we are evenly matched, or so you may think. But I have a lot more to show you before we are through. Either reveal your best to me or perish in the process. As in the meantime, when going back to Vegito and still being shown collecting even more energy for the multiversal spirit bomb, with the spirit bomb now gradually shown getting larger and larger, that's when Vegito went on to respond, yes, come on everyone, keep it coming. If this doesn't work, then I honestly don't know what will. Not only does the spirit bomb possess all of our powers from the battlefield right now, but it also possesses the power of every god of destruction and every angel 
Angel in the multiverse right now. This is our one and only shot to put an end to this nightmare once and for all. As even Jiren went on to ask Whis, will it work? With Whis responding, we'll never truly know until it is fired upon, he says. I have faith that it may, but we must wait for the order, he adds. Vegito is doing his best to hold this power together before unleashing it on Murno. I can only imagine that the Grand Priest has a plan just waiting for it to be used in motion. Hey, look, remember that from the Tournament of Power? It's huge, says one of the Omni Kings. Hey, how about we give a little bit of our energy too and see what happens as the second Omni King responds, yes, I do. I agree. Let's play along and make that energy ball bigger. As within that moment, as the multiversal spirit bomb is then shown beginning to get so big that it even now engulfs the very planet that our heroes are on right now, with more and more energy pouring in, that's when Vegeta went on to add, it's all or nothing. Now, where are they? It's almost ready to be used. I just hope that once this is done, he is gone and gone for good, as it was only then during that moment where the Beyond Dragon Ball Super story of Murno versus the Multiverse manga chapter number 34 special then comes to a close. Now, this is it. Number one, the spirit bomb is nearly ready. Number two, it appears as though somewhat full-powered Murno is evenly matched with the Grand Priest, but there seems to be something that Murno is beginning to sense within the Grand Priest that the Grand Priest is for whatever reason holding back against Murno in this fight, which we also understand that deep down the Grand Priest is doing whatever he possibly can in finding redemption within Murno, especially as being a father figure in not wanting to go to the fullest extent of getting rid of their own child, with Murno on the other hand not having a problem at all by getting rid of his dad, the million dollar question now going forward is now that we're only looking at a handful of chapters left, how exactly is Murno going to finish the job if he can actually do it? And by the end, is Murno finally going to see his mission through in becoming the one above all? Or will it be as an extension courtesy of the multiversal spirit bomb and the Grand Priest? Will Murno ultimately suffer the consequences he has coming, especially after everything he has done? Which we are currently working on the next manga chapter right now, which is that of manga chapter number 35, which as just mentioned, we only have a very few chapters left, literally a handful, and with the way this is going, the final chapter of all of this is going to be the longest in its entirety, to where right now we are going to have another massive light goal in order for us to reach the next manga chapter, to which that light goal right now is going to be 25,000 likes. A very simple light goal that all of us could easily achieve, because all you guys really have to do is scroll on down below and give this video a big fat thumbs up right now by smashing on the thumbs up button, and that's essentially it. It's quick, it's easy, and more importantly, it's free. So thank you all so much for your patience. Thank you all so much for your time because this is it. We're wrapping up the story and the way this is going to go, it's going to be something that not a lot of people see coming, but when it's all said and done, I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. So again, thank you all so much for being here. As always, of course, if you just so happen to be new to the channel and love Dragon Ball, then be sure to go on over and smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications by clicking on the bell icon to never miss a single video posted onto the channel. Tune back in for more. Thank you all so much for being here and I'll be seeing you all down the comment section below. Have a great day, everybody, and take care. Peace. Hello. Did you know that you can stay up to date with the latest Dragon Ball content by simply subscribing to Unrelent Gaming? Also, don't forget to follow on these social media platforms, you sexy son of a bitch. Roshi. Silent Cell. Me and the fans are having a moment. That's right. I know what you want. Extra long, thick Dragon Ball content. Quality reviews with flawless editing. Yeah. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? You dirty bitch. Roshi, the fuck? God damn it, I need them to subscribe, Cell. And we're demonetized. Yeah, screw it. Let's cut to the video.